Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. I'm going to do a quick review on five books as quick as I can. Get them out of the way so you guys can go pick them up later. Um, and I'm going to try to do it as fast as I can, okay? So, Punisher number two. Really good book, actually. I enjoyed it a lot. Lots of good art. Really interesting. Basically, what happens is Hydra has stopped everything. And they have decided they're going to use all their efforts to kill the Punisher. S.H.I.E.L.D. finds out and tries to... Or actually, Hydra sends in some guys, and one of the guys says, you know, cut one head off, two more will come, like Hydra always says. So Punisher tests that theory and cuts his head off. <laughs> it's awesome. So after S.H.I.E.L.D. hears that, Nick Fury sends out Power Man, or Iron Fist, and everybody, and people try to stop him, and Punisher doesn't let him stop him. That's it. Spectacular Spider-Man, number 310. Chip Zdarsky's last Spider-Man book. He drew it. He wrote it. Everything. It's really good. It's a really fun read. At the end, he puts a little special note to everybody about how he feels about Spider-Man and stuff like that. I think it's a key. Check it out for sure. Phantasmagoria. I think I said it right. It's like Tales from the Crypt. Mexican style, Latino style, South, you know, whatever. I think most of it's in, I don't know, whatever. They have a story about El Corazon Negro, which is the Black Heart. The Flying Coffin, and put a little chili on it. Um, they're fun stories. Um, most to do with the devil and death, and the art's pretty fun. And another thing, oh, that's, that's in a different book. But... It's a fun little book. You want to check it out. You might like it. I think it's not as spooky as Tales from the Crypt. It's more of a funny. But I thought it was fun to check it out. Next. I told you I'd buy the next one. Cold Spots number two. Cold Spots number one was like a little bit of a ghost story. The town. And you're trying to figure this guy goes searching for his daughter. Okay. And it's like this little island. And the first episode, he walks in and there's like a dude that got killed by a ghost. Turns out it, they are freezing, like ice cubes. They're freezing and dying. It's so cold and everywhere around, everywhere else it's warm except for this place. So it's got a spooky vibe to it. Maybe turn it into a series, a show maybe possibly. Um, he finds his daughter and she's kind of got like a power. She speaks to ghosts and whatever. Um... That could be the first appearance of his daughter. If this, and in, in, in time later on, if this becomes key, this is probably number two to be the key. Um, I'm gonna get another one, see how it goes. Last on my list, Bone Parish number three. Now you guys all know that was pretty much my cover of the week, um, but this is it. Um, Stories about some drug dealers that use ash or that grind up the people's bones and they use it as a drug and you can like live their life and they do famous people like Jim Morrison and all different types of powerful people when you do the drug you remember stuff and you feel like in their, their life something it's it's good now they're dealing with the Mexican cartel but what's interesting about this book I think is what you learn is there's a part in the their they're grave robbing and I think the cartel comes to stop them and one guy stays back he's like I got this and it's like a whole group of people trying to kill him and his sister gave him some ash and he's like I wonder what my sister gave me this time for a circumstance like this so he uses it and it, he's like flashes back like this super military navy seal killer guy so when he's hallucinating that he's this guy he's also learn all the guy's abilities and he's killing all these people it's really cool i think that could be a key because all we know before is that you're hallucinating and you're imagining these people's lives and you can feels like you're them but you can also use it now to your advantage and be powerful all the knowledge the training very interesting good book i'm going to keep buying bone parish i really like it um that's it for my quick five minute, five comic book review. I hope you guys like this style and I'll see you next time.